angles of elevation and depression. Okay, let's say for example, okay, if you're on top of the building, let me draw a building first. Okay, let's say the height of the building is this, and you are on top of the building here, and then you look down, okay, to an object. Let's say you're looking down this way to see something, right? An object. So therefore, okay, the from horizontal, okay, to this side, okay, and it's called angle of depression. That's all. This is called angle of depression. When you're looking down from horizontal and this angle of depression. I just write here for you. So we call angle of depression. Okay. And this one, let's say for example, if you are actually here, okay, on the ground. Okay. From a distance. And then you're looking up to the top of the building. So you look on top from here. Okay. And the angle measure from here to here is called elevation, angle of elevation. So this, this is a right angle, of course. So this one here, we call angle of elevation. Elevation, okay? So that is that is angle of elevation. So in another word, if you think about it, okay, this one here, you've got a letter Z here, see? It can go from the line. Okay, so because this line is parallel to this, Okay, so we, we call alternate angles. So therefore, angle of elevation is the same as angle of depression. Okay, so keep that in mind for me because alternate angles in parallel lines are equal. Okay, so we're going to do a few examples and you can see how I draw diagram. Okay. Let's see this example here. James is 250 meters from a building. The angle of elevation of the building is 72 degrees. Find the height of the building. Of course, we first of all, we need to get the diagram right first, right? So we just draw a building. Okay, it's just somewhere here, building, a line. And then, is gem is 250 from a building. So we just draw this one, 250 meters. See, from the building. This is gems here. The angle of elevations of the building is 72. So angle of elevations, so it's just obviously he's looking up from here. Look up the building, so I just connect this. So this is elevations, okay, angle of elevations, which is 72. That's all. The question says, what is the height of the building? So we put a letter X here, or H, your choice. Okay, I just put X here. See? Now, to find X, this angle we were looking at, of course, because it's given. So x is actually opposite of this angle, given. So we call all opposite. Of course, 250 is adjacent to this angle, 72. So we call 8. eight. So we call all h. Sorry, all a, I mean. So what is it? We got all a. So which is t. There you go. So t. So t stands for 10. So we just go 10. Okay, of 72 degree is equal to T down. Now, O. O is X. So, we put X. Then, over A. A is 250. You see? So, now, to solve the equation, we get rid of 250 by doing opposite. So, time 250. And you time this by 250. So, that cancel out. So, now, X is equal to 250 10 of 20, uh, 72 degrees okay so that's your answer and just type them in and you should get okay 769.4208 and so on so because the qu question didn't specify how many decimal place so I'm just going to answer in one decimal place, okay? I normally put either one or two, okay? So we're going to write 76, I mean 769.4, okay? So it's meters. So you say, therefore, the height of the building is 769.4 meters, okay? Okay, let's move on next one. A building... That is 47 meters tall, cast a horizontal shadow 18 meters long, right? 
find the angle of elevation of the sun. So of course, we first draw diagram first. Now the building that is 40 centimeters, 47 centimeters high, okay, tall. So you got this, see, 47 meters. And, okay, has a shadow of 18 meters long. So this is 18 meters, that's a shadow, which is 18 meters, see? There you go. And then the question said, find the angle of elevation. Of course, elevation is looking up. So I'm just gonna connect these two lines together first. So looking for this angle, elevation, see? Angle of elevation is you looking up, that's all. So now, what do I have here to find these angles? Okay, opposite of this, we call opposite angles, of course. Opposite size of the angles. This one we call next to this, so we call adjacent. So we got O, A. So we know that is ta, twa, right? So ka twa. So therefore, okay, we know that is 10, 10 of whatever that angle is, which is equal to O, O is 47, over a, a is 18, see? Now I'm looking for angle theta, right? So therefore theta is equal to 10, okay, inverse 47 over 18, you see? So that's what you get. And if you type that in your calculator, okay, you will get 69.044 and so on. And um, if I press the uh, DMS, DMS, that means degree, minutes, and second. Or, okay, press a bubble button, depend what calculator you have, you, something like that, okay? Something like that. If you look at the symbols, okay, so you should get 69 degree, 2 minutes, and 39 seconds. That's what that meant. Now, I'm going to uh, answer in nearer to min minutes. So, which is 69 degree and 24 minutes. Okay, so now your answer, you should write, okay, therefore, the angle of elevation, okay, of the sun is 69 degree and 24 minutes. Okay. Now, with these examples, right, a boat is 670 meters from the bait of a cliff. The angle of depression of the boat from the top of the cliff is 47 degrees. Find the height of the cliff. So what you do? Okay, we draw a diagram first. First of all, a boat is actually 670 meters from the base of the cliff. So we just draw a cliff first. So let me just draw a cliff, the height of the cliff this way. And then the boat is here somewhere, which is 670 meters. Okay, let's say this is both B. And then this is a right angle, of course. And let me connect this first. I'm just connect this together. And then the questions give is give the angle of depression. So see the angle of depression is 47 centimeter uh, 47 degrees. So you know the depre angle of depression from horizontal. Okay, this is horizontal, sorry. This angle here is actually 47 degrees. That is given, all right? That's the angle of depression, remember? Angle of depression from the top, you look down, that's 47, that's called angle of depression. Now remember, angle of depression and angle of elevation is exactly the same, because the alternate angles, okay, are same size, so which is 47 degrees here. So just keep that in mind. And then let's find the height of the clip, okay? So I just put H, okay? So now, there you go. So you're looking for h, unknown value here. So this is opposite. See, this is adjacent because next to it, all right? Next to the angle given. So which is all a, so 10. See, so I'm just go 10 of 47 degree is equal opposite. Opposite this term is h. H is just a letter, okay? Not because of hypotenuse. Please keep that in mind. And then if you like, you can put x over adjacent which is 670 meters then what i do next is i get rid of the 670 so i turn by 670 see that's all and this get rid of that now therefore okay i got h is equal to 670 10 of 
four seven degrees and then if you put that in your calculator okay and you should get seven one eight point four eight seven zero and so on okay now because again because the end the question is not specify how many decimal place so I just write in one decimal place in this case yeah you can put one or two okay so in this case just put one so now before you write one keep that in mind one decimal place I just write up to here now before I write point four okay keep that in mind I need to look at this number next to four which is eight so therefore we round one up so it's five instead of four that is 718.5 meters okay so therefore the height of the cliff is 718.5 meters okay okay another one from the top of a 200 meters tower the angle of depression of a car is 48 degrees how far is the car from the foot of the tower so we're gonna get the diagram first right so it said from from the top of a tower of a 200 meters tower so this is a tower okay so the tower is actually 200 meters okay height the angle of depression of the car is 48 degrees so obviously depressions is this you're looking down somewhere here and that is the car here see if you like okay so you can write see if you like but that's the angle of depressions see so 48 degrees now remember depression angle depressions and is equal angle elevation because alternate angles are equal in parallel lines so 48 degrees see now the question said how far is the car from the foot of the tower so which is x here that's the question asked so this angle is given this one also given we call opposite this one we call adjacent see so opposite over adjacent so which is 10 right so twa. so we're going to do 10 of 48 degrees is equal to opposite which is 200 over x you see now this time what happened is the x is down the bottom so therefore I need to term x first get rid of the x the bottom first so term by x so this x cancel out so what I have here is x 10 of 48 degrees is equal to 200 then what I do I'm um, because I look for X I get rid of by 10 of 48 so I go divide by 10 of 48 I divide by 10 of 48 degrees sorry that's what I did so I cancel this out so therefore X is equal to 200 over 10 of 48 degrees so if you put that in your calculator you will get one eight zero point zero eight and so on okay and i want one decimal place so therefore the answer is okay one eight zero point zero but before you write zero look at next number eight from five onward remember you add one so therefore okay the distance from the car okay of the car from the um from the, the foot of the tower is 180.1 meters that's all okay now let's do last one one more okay and then um, I'm gonna give you one you do it yourself in fact you can even do it with me okay or you can just pause the video and try to do it yourself okay see if you can all right so let's go let's try this one here okay so um, let's say Find the angle of depressions from the top of a vertical cliff 65 meters high to the boat 330 meters from the foot of the cliff. So we need to find the angle of depressions, right? So let's draw the diagram first. So first of all, okay, the height of the cliff is 65 meters. I just write 65 meters, right? In here. And then what happened? is 
okay the the distance from the bolt to the clip okay is 330 so i just write 330 somewhere there so 330 meters so this is the bolt if you like now the question asks you to find the angle of depression of course you start from the clip top of the clip you're looking down to the bolt like that and this is angle of depression theta so remember angle of depression is exactly the same as angle of elevation so you find this theta see that's all so now what you have here is this angle you need to look for so this one we got opposite this one we call adjacent so which is 10 so which is 10 right so 10 of theta is equal to opposite which is 65 over 330 meters right so therefore theta must be equal to 10 inverse of 65 over 330 that's all and if you put that in your calculator okay you should get 11.142 and so on um, if i press the you know bubble button if you like degrees dms button so which is you should get 11 degree and nine minutes okay so the angle of depression is 11 degree and nine minutes okay now what i like you to do is i like you um i want you to try to do this one yourself okay so i want you to pause the video okay try to do it yourself and draw a diagram out and see if you can do this one okay i'm gonna give you the answer as well okay let's say i give the answer to the nearest to um a one decimal place so your answer okay the distance is let's say i give you the answer you better write different color so you can see is um is the answer so the answer of these questions is 33.3 meters that is your answer okay can you please try to do it see if you can and thank you so much for watching my videos